My name is Garrett Lear, affectionately known across the country, in various parts of the world, as the Patriot Pastor. Behind me is the Mayflower, where several of my ancestors came to this continent in 1620. Our 66-day voyage in the North Atlantic, and any of you that know the North Atlantic know in the winter season, it's rough, it's cold, and they spent 66 days aboard, actually longer than that because part of their voyage before it even started, they were abo aboard the vessel. A hundred foot vessel, which is a cargo ship. This was not a cruise liner. That's important that we know that. And by the way, this is one of my most favorite places in the whole country to be. I've been here many times. Obviously, I'm a little tall for below deck here on the Mayflower, but even still, it's one of my most favorite places. And one of my most favorite documents in American history, of which all other documents really came from, aside from the Magna Carta before that, is the Mayflower Compact, which we use the word compact, but we can also say the Mayflower Covenant. And I can literally say, standing on this dock by the Mayflower, we will never forget our compact. We will never forget our covenant with God Almighty. And I'm going to read this Mayflower Compact. In the name of God, amen. I probably don't need to even read the rest of it. Whose names are underwritten, the loyal subjects of our dread sovereign Lord, King James, by the grace of God, of Great Britain, France, Ireland, King, Defender of the Faith, etc. Having undertaken for the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith in honor of our King and country, a voyage to plant the first colony in the northern parts of Virginia. Do by these presents solemnly and mutually in the presence of God and one another, covenant and combine ourselves together in a civil body politic for our better ordering and preservation and furtherance of the ends aforesaid. And by virtue hereof to enact, constitute, and frame such just and equal laws, ordinances, acts, constitutions, and offices from time to time as shall be thought most meet and convenient for the general good of the colony, unto which we promise all due submission and obedience. In witness thereof, we have here under subscribed our names at Cape Cod, the 11th of November, in the year of the reign of our sovereign Lord, King James of England, France and Ireland, the 18th, and of Scotland, the 54th Anno Domini, 1620. I'm going to read the names of those that signed. John Carver, William Bradford, Edward Winslow, William Brewster, Isaac Allerton, Miles Standish, John Alden, Samuel Fuller, Christopher Martin, William Mullins, William White, Richard Warren, John Howland, Stephen Hopkins, Edward Tilley, John Tilley, Francis Cook, Thomas Rogers, Thomas Tinker, John Rigsdale, Edward Fuller, John Turner, Francis Eaton, James Chilton, John Craxon, John Billington, Moses Fletcher, John Goodman, Degory Priest, Thomas Williams, Gilbert Winslow, Edmund Margeson, Peter Brown, Richard Britterman, George Sewell, Richard Clark, Richard Gardner, John Allerton, Thomas English, Edward Doty, and Edward Lester. And just to repeat some of the key phrases here, this is a covenant with God in the presence of God and one another. Did you, if you've ever been to a wedding ceremony, most of us have, we usually say that in the presence of God and one another. 
and witness thereof. These folks signed this as witnesses that this is what they did here. And by the way, I hope you didn't miss it, they said what the mission statement was. Undertaken for the glory of God and the advancement of Christian faith and honor our king and country. A voyage to plant the first colony. That was their mission statement, the advancement of the Christian faith. They didn't come here by accident. And by the way, if you're trying to understand why in the compact it says the Northern Outreach of Virginia, there was a patent, the Virginia patent. And that actually meant that they were heading towards the northern part of the Virginia compact or a covenant, which would have been, or patent, in Poughkeepsie, New York, and the Hudson River. And by divine providence, they were blown off course. It wasn't an accident. They were blown off course by divine providence and ended up here where the Lord wanted them to establish this colony and advance the Christian faith.